Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on August 22nd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at 304 angstroms right now at our sun as it just produced another three or four C-class solar flares in an Earth-facing position, still waiting for the ISWA space prediction spiral to see that event coming our way. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we had a pretty fast forming sunspot there on the right-hand side. That turned into a very active sunspot, throwing off three solar flares as it grew to 10 times its size in a 24-hour period. Looking at outgoing imagery here, left-hand side watching plasma filaments build. As well, the same thing is happening antipode in the northeast region. Another close look here at that fast-forming sunspot and as well the other active regions. Plasma filament there. Now you can see, really see the activity here in the northeast region of the sun in the multi-spectrum. Large plasma filament turning into a tornado on the surface of the sun. Look at that, just whipping up and around as that huge sunspot earth-facing position is forming quickly. Looking at 193 angstroms here, and we can see darkened regions, which are the coronal holes. We have two streams leaving, one in the southern hemisphere building as we speak. Another look at the activity with that large sunspot region that just produced three C-class solar flares, if not four, showing a very active 24-hour period, but all in the C-class range. Right now we are still hovering in C-range. Geomagnetic activity is coming down now as we were affected by that space weather event which was talked about here with daily events worldwide, looking at our pressure planes, still under immense pressure. Real-time solar wind, about 527 kilometers per second as we speak, and it's been constant and upwards of 660 kilometers per second at one point. ISPA space prediction spiral showing all of the activities heading away from us nothing just yet for the new c uh, c class flares schumann resonance for today pretty healthy power of 17 amplitude 17 power of 11 quality of 16. let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours pretty slow low numbers right now usgs just reporting 200 across the world that is average right now. So the largest, the last 24 hours was a 5.5 here in Nusa, Indonesia. Way too quiet across the West Pacific plate right now. Minor earthquakes through Indonesia up into the Philippines. 5.3 here off the coast of Japan. Well, sorry, Taiwan, one of the Japan islands there. 4.6 here in Kast, Afghanistan. 4.9 Kamchatka, Stari, Russia, Shovelich just raised their alert level, 4.2 there, New Zealand, no deep earthquakes to report through the Tonga region, Cold Bay, Alaska reporting a 4.5, pretty quiet considering North, North American play right now, Texas, Ocotillo, California, and as well Juan, B Juan Batista, California. Minor earthquakes, 4.4 here, a wreck Jane's Ridge. And that's not, that's not all the activity over the past 24 hours. Quick look here, we're going to zoom back to 36-hour period so we can get what was going on here through the Central Pacific. 4.5 there, Mexico and southward through Guatemala and down into Ecuador with a 5.5, 4.6 just northward there off the shoreline and as well 
Activity continuing through Puerto Rico. Quiet through the South American plate at at the moment. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.1. And as well, activity, the Rec Janes Ridge, south of Iceland. And that's the last 24 to 36 hours of activity across the world. We'll give you a quick glance at the last seven days. Yeah, that's right. There are a lot of red dots because it's been constant the last couple days. The pressure from the solar winds and the space weather events affected. Take a quick moment to say much love to everybody and thanks for following along with daily events worldwide and welcome to the family. It's all about staying aware and prepared here, just sharing daily information that people like to stay aware about. How our Earth is doing, how our solar system is doing, what our sun is up to, and of course, where and when a possible large earthquake could happen. Stay aware and prepared and be ready. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Seven Kaya in Peru, Sangue in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, Ibu in Indonesia, Semeru, Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Dakono in Indonesia, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. So the pressure is on. I do believe it is time for a volcanic activity report. And as predicted here with daily events worldwide, increased earthquakes and as well volcanoes have happened since the space weather has been hitting us. Look at this. Semis Napochnoi, United States, Swiss Najima, Japan. Bezimiani, Russia. Era in Japan. That's about 15 or 16 volcanoes getting updated today, folks. Amongst the 48 to 50 that are erupting and active and or active across the world. Stay tuned soon as the planetary and as well volcanic activity report will be coming up. Having a look here, satellite imagery across the world. One tropical storm to talk about. Tropical storm Tokic. That's right. Tokic. <laughs> is in the west pacific and most likely won't be affecting land will not be making landfall fires across africa no major storms to that are affecting you guys and as well no major systems developing through the atlantic until the long range towards the end of the month possibly but still some pretty big systems in both hemispheres right now large low pressure system up towards iceland where those earthquakes just were we were looking at 993 millibars up there for that low pressure system. And I can't imagine what the millibars are for the ones happening in the southern hemisphere right now. Have a look at satellite imagery. And this was forecasted here with daily events worldwide. These systems are massive down there. And whatever happens in the south come back to the, comes back to the north and vice versa. So heads up, everybody, it's going to be a rocky and possibly long winter. Look at the size of these systems. And most likely breaking some cold temperatures there in the southern hemisphere. Parts of southern, uh, parts of southern uh, South America. All right, let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Venture Sky. Lots of popcorn thunder cells all across Ontario right now. And as well, major systems here developing through the central and southern United States. Gulf states being affected by some pretty heavy storms and rainfall. Flood, flash floods and alerts are going out. Look at over Ontario, as I said, like popcorn cells out there. There are small cells forming dumping some rain and then moving on very humid air mass came through and that is going to continue up into the atlantic provinces bringing along a trough line right through the southern united states another low pressure system down there that will be affecting parts of new orleans arkansas georgia and eastward in the long range forecast heads up summer and thunderstorm season is far from over all these systems keep going over bc 
So still hot and dry across the Pacific Northwest and as well western parts of Canada. Some parts of BC have zero fire warnings. So propane barbecues only. Looking at the Atlantic Ocean over here the next few days. As I said, towards the end of the month, there's a possible tropical system here developing. Could affect parts of uh, Nova Scotia and maybe Newfoundland in the long range. Stay tuned as things can change. Pretty big low pressure system right over Iceland. Most of Europe, central regions will will see thunderstorms and spotty rain. But other than that, you got a big high pressure sitting over Moscow right now. And most of the lows are staying out into in the Atlantic, only affecting western parts of Europe. Overlooking Southeast Asia and as well India. No major systems affecting you in the long range. Monsoon rains still continue. But long range forecast here. Watch for things to shift quickly. Watch as these low pressure systems. One goes north and then one complete east through Jakarta. And then into Malaysia. And then we're going to see typhoons here form just south of Japan in the long range. So heads up. West Pacific is about to get nasty, I think. Overlooking Sydney, or sorry, overlooking Australia, we've got waves of moisture pretty much until Friday. You're going to be dry, but then watch for a pretty big system to come in. Northwestern parts, watch for scattered showers and as well possible flash flooding conditions. And then watch for the rains to move into southeastern parts. And as well, noting what's going on in the southern hemisphere. There's some snow not too far south of you in parts of southern Australia. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern upper level winds right now. As they have ramped up. That's right, they are over 440, if not 420 kilometers per hour right now. And... That always happens when we're being cranked by over 650 kilometers per second solar winds. This is our magnetosphere. This is our upper level winds. And this is our world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. And prayers for humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.